Hi folks and thanks for joining me. I've got the uh, large cabinet here for the Crosley back up on the bench. And you can see the uh, speaker here that's uh, been replaced at uh, some point in time during its life. And uh, what I want to do is just revalidate my impedance measurements that I calculated before looking at turns ratio and estimating the speaker impedance of around 4 ohms or so. And uh, make sure that's going to be a good match for the 6 Victor 6 tube, which likes to see, you know, between 5,000, let's say, and 5,500 ohms based on my uh, B plus uh, measurements or what I should have as called out on the schematic. A couple things that uh, I'll need to do this. I've got my uh, Fluke 27FM out and the advantage of this meter. I can read uh, AC current up to uh, 1000 Hertz. Of course, there's always a, a percent of error and that's called out in the manual. So I just want to make sure that uh, that's noted. And uh, we'll be leveraging my uh, signal generator here. So what I'm going to do is drive the output transformer with uh, around one volt of signal or so, AC signal here at about 1000 Hertz. So for folks out there that uh, have uh, headphones on, just take note of that. I'll be uh, kicking that uh, signal generator on in just a moment. And um, in just a bit, I'm going to take the uh, speaker loose here and uh, just substitute a 10 ohm resistor for the uh, speaker as well. But it'll be part of our calculations just to understand real quick and simple what the uh, impedance of the speaker is. In addition, we'll do some math and that we can just reverse engineer and understand what the turns ratio of the output transformer here is as well in addition to the impedance ratio. Again, just some basic math here. So the impedance is going to be our uh, voltage divided by current and again this will be AC voltage and AC current. So let's get started. Okay, I went on and uh, turned the uh, signal generator on here, generating a uh, tone very, very close to uh, 1000 hertz. And I've just got the uh, meter hooked up here looking at AC voltage. So uh, let me just take a note of what we have here on the meter at uh, 0.678 volts. Now I'm going to switch the meter, of course, to read AC current. And I've got to uh, put the meter in series here with the uh, signal generator in the load. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Okay, I'm getting the uh, meter hooked back up here and you can see I'm gonna look at uh, microamps and uh, we'll go ahead and make note of that uh, reading here at 128.6. And uh, let me just shut everything off here so we don't have that uh, nasty noise here in the background. So I need to take the uh, microamps here and uh, convert that back to amps. So that's going to be 0 0.000, hope I'm doing this right, got my decimals correct here, 128.6 amps. So all we need to do now is take the uh, voltage divided by the uh, current and that should give us the impedance. And what we're looking for, again, is between uh, 5,000, let's say, and uh, 5,500. So let's go ahead and make those measurements here real quick. So we said 0 0.678. We'll divide by 0 0.0001286. And uh, not sure if that's showing up on the camera because of the glare or not, but it uh, looks like we've got 52... 72 and some change and I'll just leave it here at this number. So uh, that's perfect. That's what I'm looking for here. 52.72 right in the middle of my 5000 to uh, 5500. So that would be our approximate input impedance here based on what's being reflected back from the speaker. So um, this will be kind of out of uh, frame here, but if I reach over and disconnect one of the leads of the speaker itself, um, just keep an eye here on the meter just for a moment and you'll see what happens to uh, current. We'll let that stabilize just for a moment. 
And of course I just killed the uh, speaker and you can see the uh, current drop. So let me go ahead and substitute a uh, 10 ohm resistor and uh, we'll repeat the exercise here. And uh, we'll use that information to calculate the impedance uh, ratio and the turns ratio of the output transformer. Okay, I've got the uh, 10 ohm resistor hooked up. It actually reads uh, 10.02 ohms, but we'll just call it uh, 10 ohms for this exercise. That'll be close enough. And uh, we'll just leave the meter hooked up where it's at right now, not make any changes. And uh, we'll just take note here. You can see uh, if we look at the uh, current flow here in microamps, we're at 57.3. So let me just go to the right here and we'll substitute that number. And if we convert that back to um, amps itself, we point zero 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 five seven three. Now let me hook everything back up here where we can measure the uh, AC voltage itself. And then uh, we'll do the uh, math here and see what we end up with. All right, and there's our uh, AC voltage now, as it is impacted, of course, by the load itself. And uh, we'll just note that at uh, point, what, 0.714. So uh, let's do the math there. We'll take the uh, point 0.714. We'll divide by point 0.000573. And that uh, comes out to uh, 12,000. 461. So we'll take note of that. Now what I need to do is divide that by 10 because we have a 10 ohm resistor. So we'll divide by 10 and the impedance ratio will be this number. So we can just take the uh, 12 461 divide by 10 and of course that comes out to be 1246 that will be our input uh, ratio itself for the uh, transformer, output transformer. Now we can simply do the turns ratio real quick by taking the uh, square root of this number. So I can just take the square root of this number. We'll do that real quick. And you can see that comes out to uh, 35.3. So 35, I think originally I calculated around uh, 36 to 1. So this comes out to 35.3 to 1, or we'll just say 35 to uh, 1 would be the uh, turns ratio itself. Okay, to calculate the uh, speaker impedance, all I need to do is take the original impedance that we read here, the 5272, and divide that by the uh, 1246. And you can see that comes out to uh, 4.2 ohms and a little change. So roughly, this particular speaker that has been replaced here, off to the left out of view, is uh, a 4 ohm um, speaker. So just another way, quick, easy, and simple method and procedure you can use to uh, not only calculate the uh, speaker impedance itself, but understand the output transformer. Um, that is the impedance ratio, in this case 1246, and just use the square root of that number to uh, calculate the turns ratio as well.